Konnichiwa, Japanese Amo no Misa desu. Today we are going to conjugate the verbs finally. So we are going to learn a form called must form, which is used for formal speech. The sentences we've learned, for example, I eat sushi, sushi o taberu. This is not formal speech, we use it to friends or families. But now we are going to do some formal speech because this must form it's really easy to conjugate for like negation and past tense and past negative so once we've learned it I think you'll get used to Japanese more so we're gonna learn must form first do you remember I talked about iru eru ending and others of many times today it's gonna be useful so for example iru eru verbs do you remember to eat Taberu, so er ending, to look, to watch, to see. Miru, miru, so iru ending. To teach, oshi eru, oshi eru, er ending. To sleep, neru, so eru ending. To wake up, okiru, okiru. So they all have iru or eru ending, right? Do you remember, it cannot be aru, uru, oru only e or e sound to make mass form we just get rid of ru and put mass so it's really easy so if you want to say taberu in formal speech so you're talking to strangers or your boss or co-workers then we say tabemas tabemas so taberu became tabemas so for example i eat sushi order will be completely the same and the particles will be the same just ru becomes mas i eat sushi formally sushi o tabemasu sushi o tabemasu and today i want to introduce some words related to time because you know just learning mas form is a bit boring so if you want to say i eat breakfast every day then we usually put time related words at the beginning of a sentence and then object and verb the word for every day is mainichi mainichi so we say mainichi breakfast asa gohan o taberu informally mainichi asa gohan o taberu and now let's make it formal Except for the ending, everything will be the same. So, mainichi asa gohan o tabemasu. Mainichi asa gohan o tabemasu. Now, what about the word to lick, which is miru? So, you just get rid of ru and put mas, right? So, miru becomes mimas. Mimas. I watch TV every night every evening remember how we say dinner we say ban gohan right we got this ban from the word kon ban wa so every day we say mai nichi we use the prefix mai for every and for every evening every night we say mai ban so mai is like every and ban is evening my bum. So I watch TV every night. Informally, then my bum terebi o miru. My bum terebi o miru. You can change the order, but usually we put time related word at the beginning. So you could say terebi o my bum miru, but usually we say my bum terebi o miru. All right, let's say this formally. My ban terebi o mi mas. My ban terebi o mi mas. What about to sleep? Neru, right? So you just get rid of ru and put mas. Ne mas, ne mas. That's to sleep formally. If you wanna say I go to sleep at eleven, for example, then for the word o'clock we use suffix ji. So for example, one o'clock. Ichiji, ichiji. Two o'clock, niji. Three, 
Sanji. And then four o'clock, you gotta be careful. We don't say Yonji or Shiji, we say Yoji, Yoji. And five o'clock, Goji, Rokuji. And then seven o'clock, again, it's not Mamaji, but we say Shichiji, Shichiji. And eight o'clock, Hachiji. Then nine o'clock, we gotta be careful again, not Kuji, unfortunately, we say Kuji. Kuji. And 10 o'clock, Juji. 11, Juichiji. And 12, Juniji. So that's not too bad, you just gotta be careful with Yoji, Shichiji, and Kuji. So I go to sleep at 11, right? So in English, you use the particle at, at 11. In Japanese, we use ni particle, ni particle. Ni particle has several usages as well, but here it means at the, the, the time. Juichiji ni would be at 11. Ichiji ni at 1 o'clock. And we put it at the beginning of a sentence usually. So, juichiji ni neru, juichiji ni neru informally. And let's make it formal. Juichiji ni nemas, right? Juichiji ni nemas. Well, to wake up. Okiru. So the must form formal speech would be okimas, right? Okimas. So I wake up at seven. Then you remember how to say seven o'clock? Shichiji, right? And at. Shichiji ni at seven o'clock. Shichiji ni, I wake up. Okiru informally, and formally we say shichiji ni okimas. Shichiji ni okimas. So that was for irere verbs, and now other verbs. So not irere ending, and except for irregulars, which are like suru, to do, and to come, kuru. Do you remember how I said to listen? Kiku. Right, kiku. So like I said, any verbs have u at the end, but these other verbs are called u verbs in, in textbooks because that's what we conjugate. We change the last u sound into e sound and put mas. So for example, kiku would be kikimas. Kikimas. Kiku, kikimas. About to write kaku becomes kakimas, kakimas. So kaku also means to draw, right? I draw a picture. We say e o kaku, right? Can you make it formal? E o kakimas, e o kakimas. What about we sing? Utau, right? Utau. So we simply change u into e. So we get uta e. Mas, uta imas, and to say we say iu, right? So iu also becomes i imas imas. Just a long vowel, imas. To go is iku, so iku also becomes ikimas. To talk, to speak, hanasu. So if you change u into i, it becomes si, right? But in Japanese we don't have the sound. That's why people make fun of Asians not being able to pronounce C sound. A lot of people have problems pronouncing like sit down. So shit down. So we say shi. Hanasu becomes hanashimas. Hanashimas. So for example, I speak English formally. Would be Ego Hanashimas. Ego Hanashimas. To take a picture, so we say shashin o toru, right? So change toru into mass form. So toru has ru at the end. Toru isn't iru er ending, but it's oru ending, so we treat it like other verbs, like to write, to and stuff. Toru becomes to be mas torimas. So I take a picture formally. Shashin o torimasu. Shashin o torimasu. Let's put the word sometimes. 
So sometimes we say toki doki. Have you heard of the word doki doki? That is heart beating. But toki doki is sometimes. So I take a picture sometimes. Sometimes we put at the beginning. So we say toki doki shashin wo torimasu. Toki doki shashin wo torimasu. And irregulars. Suru becomes shimasu. So it doesn't change like surimas, but it becomes shimas, shimas. So do you remember how we say to study? Benkyo suru also becomes benkyo shimas, benkyo shimas. To play tennis would be tennis o shimas. And to cook, we say ryori o suru, ryori o suru. Ryori is hard to pronounce for many, many people. The Japanese R sound is somewhere between D and R and L. So, ryo, 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 rari, rero, ryori, ryori. So, ryori o suru. And formally we say, ryori o shimas. Right? So, for example, I like cooking. We say, ryori o Suru no ga suki desu. Do you remember this nothing? We are learning must form, but must form is always, always at the end. So, for example, you cannot do ryori o shimas no. You can't do that. Must form is only used at the end. Cooking, you'd have to say ryori o suru no, even if it's formal speech. And to come is kuru. And the must form is kimasu. Kimasu. I'll come tomorrow. Would be ashita kimasu. In the next lesson, we will do how to say I don't do something and stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want more videos, please like and share. So.